everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set a bearing location on your Casio G-Shock GW9500 Mudman watch. Pretty similar to other ABC watches by Casio. First thing we need to do is we need to go into our compass. I'm going to simply press the top right button. That's your compass button. It's an independent button, so the only thing it will ever do is take you to your compass. This is what it normally looks like when you go into your compass. You'll see the three lines over here to the left. That's my north indicator. That's always going to let me know where north is. And then up top, I've got my directional pointer. Then you've got your additional, or I should say my direction that's showing my degrees in the middle. In the bottom here, I've got my current time and my battery level. What bearing location is, is really kind of a sight and go feature. You're out, you're walking around, you see something off in the distance. You want to lock in on that location so that your compass will always show you whether or not you're heading towards that given location. Maybe I see a tower off in the distance or a barn or something like that, and I want to go to it. What you're going to do is you're going to basically point the watch, the 12 o'clock indicator up here, to wherever that location is. Once you've got the location, you're going to press the top left button, and that will lock in what's called your bearing location. My bearing location is going to be listed up here at top, 73 degrees. And then the middle is going to show me my current degrees. So as I'm walking, I can see that my bearing location is at 73 degrees, but I'm actually facing 167 degrees. So I would want to basically take off and get back in the general direction of my bearing location, which is going to be about right there. Pretty close. You're always going to have the north indicator still pointing to the north, but you would basically be using this so that you're always heading the direction of your bearing location. I hope that makes sense. Once you want to clear your bearing, you can simply press the adjust button again and you've successfully cleared your bearing and you're back to your regular compass mode. And then just like any other feature on this watch, once you're done with it, you can press the mode button to get you out of the compass mode. And that's a quick look at how to save a bearing location on your GW9500 watch. I hope the video helped. 